Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. We are, today we're going to have a little class on stove top cooking fire. My name is start with my name is Paul Marr. I am a fire inspector with Citrus County Fire Rescue. Our department is made up of 11 apparatuses, and that's a, mix, a combination of fire engines, ladder trucks, the hazardous materials, vehicles, brush trucks for grass fires and field fires, and special operation vehicles to help doing the serious rescues. The big thing of my message today is my slogan is going to be be prepared, practice, and stay calm. Those are the three things I want to emphasize, along with other things. Excuse <coughs> me. Yeah. You want to make sure you have in a cabinet like this, next to the stove, you want to have your cookie sheet sitting here like that. So once it starts burning, I can just reach over and get to it. Let me go back to, there's approximately 170,000 home fires in the United States. That usually the biggest issue that causes those fires is stove tops, whether you're cooking something that causes great slight vapors, is left unattended. The stove is left unattended while you're doing other things. So this class today is going to help educate people that do most of the cooking. All right? And the you know we do have ways of using fire extinguishers or the blankets that they're big they're pushing them nowadays. But my method, which I'm going to demonstrate, is the cleanest way, and it's readily available if, you, if the cookie sheets were what I showed you, and it is really quick to solve your problem with no mess. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to talk about the three points that I want to uh, talk about, the preparedness, we want to be be prepared, we want to practice, and we want to stay calm. So being prepared is having this cookie sheet readily available so when the fire does ignite, I will show you the technique of how to put it out. That is being prepared because you've done that preliminary pre-fire and make sure the cabinet doesn't have the cookie sheet buried or something like that because mm -hmm. that'll slow it down from getting it out of the cabinet and then the flames will get much bigger in the process. Mm -hmm. Then you want to practice your technique, which I'm going to do right now for you. You get it out of the cabinet, you come around here, and then you're going to take your cookie sheet, which is bigger than your largest skillet, and you just want to, you want to go down slowly when the flames are coming up, which you'll see in a couple minutes. You want to just go down like this, and that suffocates the flames. Okay, by going by going down slow like that, any of the flames that would be coming up here, you're keeping the flame away from your hands, keeping it nice and cool, so you don't have to worry about getting burnt. And you don't need to put get pot holders or mitts or something like that because this all happens simultaneously, and it's a real smooth one motion thing. So you get out the kick cookie sheet, come to your skillet, and then you just go like this, and then your hands are out, no flame, you can put over your hand over it, and turn off your burner. And that's the practice. And the whole time we're doing this, you want to stay calm. There's no reason to be upset or get nervous or any type of panic because you push the flames away, protecting your hands and not taking a chance of getting burnt. Uh -huh. Emphasize what we said earlier about practicing. You want to be able to practice this, getting the cookie sheet out of the cabinet, coming over here, placing it down on the skillet, without any type of fire or anything, just you go through the motion so you'll be prepared if this ever happens to you. By practicing and being prepared will help you stay cool, calm, and collective, keeping it safe. 
Now you can see we are in the other room. We left the stove top unattended. And you can see it's starting to make it, get extra hot and it will go into an open flame when it's just when the conditions will be right. Go ahead. Okay. We're trying to simulate a fire. Hopefully it will get big enough to demonstrate and get some flames yeah. up to here or something like that. And it yeah. just went out. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, now you can see we're doing a demonstration here on how to put out a fire on the stove top. And the technique, obviously, I don't have the grease latent vapors causing the flame. We have paper and uh, product. So we come back in from the were everywhere. We got a fire. We want to reach down to our cabinet that has our cookie sheet. We want to come up like this. And then you just want to stay calm and collective and just go like this slowly, like that. And then you get your hands out of the way. And as you can see, I did not need a cookie, uh, pot holder or anything like that. And then once the oxygen has um, settled down, you turn off this the burner, mm -hmm. and then one like I mentioned earlier, one of my biggest key points of demonstrating this is you do not want to move this pot of grease or the skillet of grease or whatever's cooking, whatever's burning. Don't think you have to move it to a different burner right away because if you do, if you touch the cookie sheet, it may be very hot. And then the biggest thing is don't ever want to move the pan with the hot grease in it, burning grease, because you take a chance of spilling it on yourself. Maybe if you have a different setup in your kitchen, the drapes, if you spill it out there, it flashes on your drapes and it catches them on fire. And then a good friend of mine, she taught, and this is a true story, it was a kitchen fire situation where something was cooking on the stove and the person left the room unattended and then when they came back in, there was big flames, the opposite of what we have, the big flames, and they, he didn't do the cooking sheet method, he didn't use a fire extinguisher, he didn't use a blanket, he just picked up the pan by the handle and went through his, his back door. When he got to the door, he opened the door, well when the smoke alarms in the house went off, his daughter was in the backyard playing, and with all the commotion and everything going on, she came in the back door to see what was going on. At the same time, the gentleman came to the door and he just threw the pot of grease. And it went all over the young girl's face. And so you can imagine, I don't, I don't need to go into any more details, but you can imagine how traumatic that was and the pain that that young lady suffered. So I hope this class, I hope this demonstration helps you learn another way, one way to do this. I think this is the best way because as you can see, it was readily available to, hey, we got a fire, go to your cabinet, get out the cookie sheet, which is larger than any skillet you may have. And I demonstrated you, I demonstrated to you how slow to put the skillet, the cookie sheet over the skillet, making the flames to go away from your hands while you lay the skillet down, the cookie sheet on the top. And that suffocates the fire, keeping the flames down really, really low. Now, this probably still was burning underneath there for a little while because it still had some oxygen in there between the cookie sheet and the pan. But it was not extending. It was out of sight, out of mind, which helps you stay cool, calm, and collective. And then you were able to shut the burner off. And then back to the point I've emphasized many times is do not ever move the skeleton. So thank you for coming today. I hope you enjoyed our little presentation. And if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask them. Thank you and have a fire safe day.